So here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we exist as multi-dimensional vibrational beings and distinct consciences outside of the illusions of time and space, yet simultaneously as direct extensions of the one source energy, God, if you will, love and light and all that is. Our true growth is directed by our intent to transcend levels of understanding through physical and non-physical experiences and realities, thereby raising our vibration and eventually returning to the One. As such, what we perceive as our physical reality in the third density or dimension is merely a collective vibrational creation where we have chosen to project a part of our existence to gain an understanding of the physical life experience on Earth. This experience, although important for our growth, is only one of seemingly infinite experiences that simultaneously exist as alternate periods of time, parallel universes, and higher dimensions. I'll repeat that. This experience, although important for our growth, is only one of seemingly infinite experiences that simultaneously exist as part of alternate periods of, quote, time, parallel universes, and higher dimensions. As divine beings, continuously creating our own realities, our existence is not without some measure of order. This order comes in the form of transuniversal and dimensional laws that include the law of cause and effect, or karma, the law of free will, or non-interference, and the law of attraction. On the other side of the veil, many groups of benevolent entities with whom we have intimate relationships help us to identify and plan opportunities for growth during each journey that we take together into physical expression. Moreover, in the non-physical state, their presence helps to remain helps us to remain on our chosen path during these journeys in order that we may fulfill our individual chosen purpose. That's key, chosen purpose. This understanding leads to the realization that we have a body, but we are not a body. In fact, using time as a reference, we have and will again occupy a number of bodies, many of which you could not even begin to imagine since they do not exist as part of this world, universe, or density. Make no mistake, however, most of us have been here before, and our return is exclusively dependent on the judgments we place upon ourselves, as well as the lessons that we learn and the progress that we make regarding our individual growth. Whatsoever we sow, we shall reap. There are no coincidences, only synchronicity, no tragedies, but misunderstood opportunities for growth, and everything is our own creation. To understand these truths is to understand the authenticity of our divinity, our oneness with everything in existence, and our unquestionable abilities to directly create reality. Truly, we all are sons and daughters of God, equal in all respects as part of the whole. These were the principal teachings of the Christ consciousness personified in the Masters, Buddha, Krishna, Muhammad, Moses, Elijah, and of course, Yeshua ben Osef, or Jesus Christ. Over time, their teachings were readily misinterpreted, misunderstood, rewritten, or intentionally omitted from the great books by individuals and members of organizations whose sole purpose was simple, to keep us from understanding our true selves so that we could be controlled by fear. Regrettably, at the fundamental level, this is the reality that most of the world has accepted, resulting in what we see today. Take a look around. What have we become? Daily routines on the basis of expectation and dependency have resulted in the majority of the world's developed population living mindlessly segregated and in complete ignorance and denial of the information that is being intentionally concealed by organizations and individuals that literally control the world's thought and thereby the manifestations of reality. This information includes, but is not a limit, limited to, Earth's history, mankind's true origins and place within our galactic family, evolution, the fate of previous civilizations, which most of us were part of, by the way, universal laws, and most importantly, our oneness with all that is. But as the cliché goes, it is always darkest before the dawn. And as we accelerate towards the tipping point that heralds the evolution of Earth and humankind's collective existence, we are once again beginning to recognize those abilities and aspects of ourselves that we have long forgotten. And who should we see, cheering vociferously from the sidelines, but the very beings that have loved us and been with us since the very beginning, whose very genes run through every cell in our bodies, and whom bring wisdom, guidance, and support during this momentous time in our history. In truth, we are not and have never been alone. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not here to tell you what to believe. I am here to urge you to start thinking for yourself, that's all. Ask yourself these two questions. Who am I? And what is my reality? For how can you ever find the answers if you never ask? Look inwards for your truth and pay attention to your thoughts and feelings. Forgive others and perhaps just as importantly, forgive yourselves. Finally, let go of all fear. Fear of judgment, fear of reprisal, fear of inadequacy, fear of loss, fear of death or some sort of imaginary damnation. For all these effectively prevent us from jumping up off the wheel, as it were, and ascending into a higher vibrational existence during this period of transition. It is time to take responsibility for our creations and to direct our thoughts toward the healing of humanity and our planet. And what better way to spread love, happiness, and healing than by continually living a life full of joy, gratitude, and appreciation for the opportunity to be right here, right now, as an active member and participant in this cosmic game. At the forefront is this simple advice. Love thy neighbor as thyself, follow your bliss, and don't worry, be happy. We are all here for our own reasons, but at the very heart lies the desire to learn how to use energy and help each other evolve as eternal beings. As Edgar Cayce once said, in the application comes the awareness. We can and are changing the world. Everything begins with thought. And if you think that that's where it ends, just wait till you see what happens next. <laughs> and that's all. So thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity to share that. Eric, thank you for your, your honesty, for your sharing of yourself and for teaching. Uh, the information that, that comes through you is, is so very, very beautiful. It's been such a, a joy to know you and um, I look forward to, to watching you in the future. So much love, many blessings to you.